in December, one of my favourite times for carp fishing. Love short session winter fishing. Just coming out for the day, travelling light with just a couple of rods, light rucksack and a chair. It makes it much less of an ordeal than some people seem to think winter carp fishing to be. Lots of the winter fish I've had over the years have been daytime fish. Here I am, you can see it, it's daylight, not cast out yet. It's got a simple rig on, a little dumbbell pop up, 10mm bait underneath it, and I'm going to wrap a little bit of paste around it. The paste I'm using is very, very quick dissolving. Not ideal if I was fishing overnight, but for this sort of fishing, ideal. As soon as that goes in the water, lots of life coming off of it, and hopefully a carp will find it. On the business end, a relatively small lead on, not having to cast very far. I do like to cast about a little bit in the winter if I'm not getting action. I find you get away with the, the lead splashing a lot more so than you do in the summer. Got a short piece of fluorocarbon on the combi rig that I use so often. Using the fluorocarbon in this instance, I normally use Maxima, but the water we're fishing is very, very clear. Uh, in this rod, I'm going to try and cast onto a small gravel spot I know about. So the fluorocarbon is going to blend in a little bit more, plus sink nicely on the bottom. So that, although it's a snowman type setup, with the paste wrapped around it, it's just going to be wafting around on the bottom. Right, the paste I'm moulding around this is actually produced from the maximum action pellets that we do. Like I said, it's very, very quick dissolving. But I like this scenario of subtle flavours dissolving around the hook bait, plus a little bit of visual, rather than having lots of extra flavour. A lot of people glug the baits right up in the winter, lots of flavour emitting from them. I prefer more flavour but in, in a subtle way. ring the changes, I'm fishing it pop-up style, fishing a 14mm Irish cream pop-up, 10mm standard Irish cream bottom bait underneath it, and a little shot just to anchor it in place. This rod will probably be the rod to move about a bit, if I see any signs at all, any bubbling, anything else, I'll probably have a quick cast with this one and see. But we'll get this one out, just fishing on its own, the rod with the pace I'm going to fire a few baits over. Last ditch attempt, and just move for swims for the last last half hour. Light starting to drop. I'm just careful not to hang over this water too much, don't want to spook anything that's perhaps already there. That's right. Spot on. It's on a bit of gravel there, feathered the cast quite hard. That uh, helps soften the sound of the leg going into the water. Fingers crossed now. See if that last little bit extra effort might just make all the difference. Just lay the bobbins slack. I do like to see the bobbins go up, so even if I've got them semi laying on the floor, I still prefer to put them on. So the angler mate, it looks like I'm right on top of the fish, which I am in a way, but the bank drops down quite sharply. Um, definitely off their field of vision where I've got the baits. The fish tend to come along the margin here, there's lots of overhanging bushes and trees, similarly up the side bank. So the areas the fish would see from in this swim, they, they don't normally hover there too long, they just pass through. So I'm just hoping one of these fish that's, that's coming along the margins we might just have a go there. That was well worth the move. Just sort of one down the left there, over the bits of paste I put in. Whoa! 
just got to be careful because there's quite a few overhanging trees there. This is the main part of the lake. Always shows. I was just thinking we perhaps wouldn't have one today, and just that extra little bit of effort going and making the move, and we're into one. Probably ruined the spot now <laughs> with fishing just under the rod tops, but we've got one on here. As I've always said, can't carry on feeding all year long. We're in December. And the age old thing, a few minutes in the right spot. So much better than a day in the wrong one. It also shows, well, I mean I've not changed methods at all, in fact I put the same baits out as I was using. We got it right anyway, we just weren't in the right spot. Bit of a reach here with a steep bank. There we are, a December car. Well, as I said, a few minutes in the right spot. We've got the methods right all the way along, I'm just in the wrong spot. Been over on the other side of the lake for most of the day. We just moved around here for the last half hour, and we've managed to bag one. Right, really pleased with this one. It just shows that little bit extra effort, just being bothered to move for a, for a short while. It's paid off. Rightly scaled mirror. On the pop-up rod, I've got two baits quite close together on the same shelf. One was on a snowman, one was on a fluorescent pop-up, snowman style, and that's the one that went. I've actually hacked the top pop-up up into a pellet shape, let a bit more flavour release and a normal boil underneath. Just hovering on the on the eye of the hook. The shot is pushed right up there. Just starting to come out in his winter colours, and nice and orangey. All lightweight scales with me. So everything's trimmed down to a bare minimum for these short winter sessions. And that fish is... <laughs> I don't believe this. I've, uh, all the years I've been carp fishing, I've only ever caught one before, smack on the dot 20 pound. And it's smack on the dot 20 pound. That's lovely. Thank you, carp. 20 pound of old English winter mirror. Well, that's what it's all about. Great stuff. Proper old English carp. As old as me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.